This morning, a California scientist who raced the U.S. government to map the human genome is working on a new project. Craig Venter's team plans to collect genetic information from thousands of people. They want to fight some of the biggest health problems we face, including cancer, Alzheimer's, and heart disease. In China, the focus is on children, but the research going on there is raising concerns about the future of science. Juan Andrews traveled to a Chinese lab. Inside a converted shoe factory in Shenzhen, China, scientists have launched an ambitious search for the genes linked to human intelligence. It must be over 60% of your IQ is the, decided by, the, uh, by your parents. 60%? Yeah, so we want to prove it. The man in charge of the project is 21-year-old science savant Zhao Bowen. We're looking for the smart people. Those that have an IQ higher than 145 points. Zhao works for the Chinese biotech giant BGI, which owns more gene sequencing machines than anyone in the world. It's just continuously generating tons of data. Tons of data tons of taken data. from the genetic makeup of so, more than 2,000 of the brightest people BGI could find, most of them scientists and math wizards. And we want to see what's in common. What part on their genomes yeah. are they the same? Yeah, that's important. One of the people selected and who volunteered his DNA is Boston software developer Jeffrey Kaufman. But this is something that, if executed well, uh, could be very positive for our society and, and for the world. But discovering the genetics of intelligence could also be controversial. It would then be possible to test a human embryo to learn if the baby is destined to be smart. In vitro laboratories already allow parents to use genetic tests to screen their embryos, not just for disease, but to choose embryos based on gender and other physical traits. BGI believes that one day there might be a test for IQ. So in the future you're saying, yes, people may well select for intelligence. The technology will be there. If that day comes, Kaufman believes that children chosen for intelligence would have an advantage. Given the choice, most parents are going to rather have uh, a more intelligent baby than a less intelligent baby, sort of all other things considered. And that, for the most part, that, that seems like it should be a good thing. Yet the fear is that China could unleash a future of designer children, engineered to perfection, the stuff of science fiction. You have specified hazel eyes, dark hair, and uh, fair skin. The 1997 film Gattaca envisioned the ethical dilemmas in a society that screened out human imperfection. I have taken the liberty of eradicating any potentially prejudicial conditions, uh, premature baldness, myopia, alcoholism and addictive susceptibility, uh, propensity for violence. But at the National Institutes of Health, Dr. Eric Green says genetic science is not there, not yet. IQ is incredibly complex. He's the director of the National Human Genome Research Institute. This just leap to that we're going to find an IQ gene or we're going to find the human cognition gene is naive. This is not a simple test. It's not a simple test. Still, Dr. Green calls IQ research critical. He sees discoveries related to mental illness or Alzheimer's as outcomes far more likely than any genetic test for the superchild. How would you describe your ultimate goal? To help people on understanding their selves and to create a better world. For CBS This Morning, Wyatt Andrews, Shenzhen, China.